Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Cryptoware and today we are going to get started with the dynamic analysis of a malware. So here we have one malware which is named as mal sorry, mal1.exe. So we will perform some basic dynamic analysis and then we'll understand what is happening over here. Make sure that you have taken a snapshot of your non-infected system already because after after you execute this malware, it will infect your VM. Also make sure you're not performing this on your host machine. This is highly recommended because it is a malware and it is going to infect your system. And you have to make sure that your networking is set to host only. Uh, it, even if it is not present at host only, it won't affect. But you should not be taking any risk. You never know what can happen because this is a malware which we are going to execute over here. So there are a few tools that we would be requiring right now. One is Procmon. If you don't have Procmon, you can install it. You can download it from the net. I think with Flare VM, you'll be having Procmon, which is process monitor. It will be monitoring all the processes that is running in your system, in your VM. Uh, as of now. So whenever we are executing this uh, malicious software, this particular malware, we can see that particular process over here. The next thing would be is RegShot. RegShot is another utility that will help you to perform a comparison between the times once when your system was not infected and the second when your system got infected. So this will help you understand what kind of new files got created, what happened, is there any uh, process execution that is happening, what which was not happening before. So what new things started happening? So it will give you a comparison between these two things. Another would be fake net. As I said, as I mentioned, that it is highly recommended that you do not use internet at that time and set your networking to host only. So as a result, you won't be connected to the internet, but your malware would or might need connection to the internet. So this will create a fake environment kind of scenario for the malware to believe that it is in a proper system, which is which it is infecting and in which it is uh, getting connected to the internet. So we can understand what is happening, what kind of requests that particular malware is trying to make, which IP addresses it is trying to connect to. And as a result, we can check this out in Wireshark. So I have started all the three tools that we'll be needing right now. So, so as I mentioned, we would require it for performing the comparison. As we have already run fake net, we have already run process monitor. We'll just clear process monitor now and pause it. And we'll clear it. Yeah, so we have cleared it. We have not started capturing. Let's just check another time. And it starts capturing. So we have paused the capturing process. We clear everything out. We have fake net. We have reg shot. And we have just mentioned that scan all directories. We'll click on first shot. We don't need to save. You may save, it's completely up to you, but we are anyway going, we'll be getting back to our previous uninfected uh, environment. Uh, the snapshot that we had uh, already taken. So it's better, it would be of no use even if you save. So I'm just clicking on short and let's, yeah, so here we will be, uh, we clicked on the first shot. So it is taking the shot or the screenshot or snapshot of the time when it was completely uninfected. So it will take some time. So I'll pause the video for a while till the time it is uh, completely taking all the snapshots that is possible. So this is how it looks like when your first shot is taken. We'll click on OK. And it is asking for the second shot. Now, when are we going to take the second shot? So before that, we have 
fake net all started. We have process monitor. So what are we going to do is let's start capturing. Let me just yeah minimize it. Here is the malware, sample malware. And I'll start with executing. So as it will get executed, you have to be aware that your VM is going to be infected. So now we are going to start capturing and we'll run, we'll execute this malware. And once we see that it got executed, we see that it disappeared from here. We did not try to read the readme text. We can try, this is a real malware file. So it doesn't have anything much. So we see that it got disappeared from here. And we'll wait for one, two or three minutes. And then we'll be able to analyze what is happening. We can check fake net, yes. So we can see that that malware, after executing that malware, it is trying to make some kind of connection. It is trying to send some request, but as it is fake net, so it won't be getting the response as such as it was expecting. It's a kind of UDP request, TCP, see. It is it trying to connect to, see this is a request. Yeah, requested UDP to this. So let's wait for a few minutes and then we will check what happened actually. So we have executed the malware for about two to three minutes. So the next step would be um, pausing this, pausing the proc one, or let's just check one thing. we can try to find certain things. Let's do it after a while because that's where I'll be able to show you. So we'll just pause the Procmon. We have paused it. Yeah, so it's, yeah, so we have paused the process monitor. So it is not monitoring anything else. We have fake net, which has some very interesting details that we can see some requests that have been made, especially UDP requests. Let us check it properly. Yeah. So there is this whole request. We will be analyzing each of them. And we have red shot. So we are going to take the second shot now. And let's start. It will take again some more time. So we will pause till the time it completes the analysis, uh, sorry, completes the comparison, and then we'll start with the comparison. So the second shot is done. Meanwhile, this comparison was going on, few more requests were sent, and it's still going on as you can see. So we'll click on OK, and we'll compare. Compare and output. So here we are going to see what the comparison has been made, what new things that have got created, how it has infected your VM. So we are going to see that. So let's just wait for a couple of minutes till the time the comparison is done. So once it is done, once the comparison is done, we'll click on OK and we can see that the output is over here. So it will tell you all the difference. Keys deleted. It says that three keys were deleted. They are under the Windows current version, cache, extensible cache. These three MS history. I am just guessing. I don't know what kind of history or is it really related to history. But if you want to guess, it might be something related to something that it has done and maybe it is trying to clear the history. I'm just guessing. We will check it out later on. 
it has in fact added 12 keys service instances this is some uid kind of thing again service instances some more we have these something very interesting that uh, it looks very interesting like app, uh, under application view management we have something or like this search jump list jump list data some values deleted so okay so from here we can see that it is maybe it is trying to make connection to this server we don't need to check them now we are not going to check anything right now again this is something dhcp name server what we can do is we can look out for this ip addresses in various without running them i mean uh we'll be searching like for them maybe in virus total or any other platform because you never know what if you just type these ip addresses and something just randomly gets downloaded so we are not going to do anything like that we can see that some more values got deleted let's just move this side okay so i guess we were right it is deleting something from the history it is deleting here as well okay we also saw that that particular malware got deleted after it got executed so maybe it is mentioned or maybe they ha have removed that too i mean to say that maybe that deletion or whatever it is trying to perform they are just trying to delete the logs or some history related to the infection we'll be checking that out okay what rest 37 values have been added what values are these? these are some these look like some hex it is talking about recent docs maybe some doc files we can just check out dot txt you never know what it might be there is something under here as well again it is adding something over here under the history section so it has created some file maybe app services.exe or maybe that particular malicious file is this we don't know okay here we can see our our file which got deleted after its execution so it is uh, under nt current version okay c users i desktop but we delete it got deleted from there okay we'll be checking them out so these are very interesting things that are that have happened some values again got modified we'll just look at okay so this is pretty huge okay a lot of things have happened a lot of values got added here also we can see something have happened we'll just check what else are happening okay some files deleted three files deleted in fact some log files so maybe it is trying to delete the traces of the infection that they are trying to perform some files got added okay so the file that got deleted maybe it got renamed as this file and it is under c drive windows prefetch we can see that under system 32 they have added few files these are again it looks like log files here they have something interesting their file attributes modified total changes were 179 so a lot of changes have happened in just just a short period of time so let's go ahead with fake net since our malware is still there and it is it has already infected the system so it will keep on running it will keep on doing its work and we will just check out the process monitor here the proc one so let's perform some add some filters because there are a lot of things that have happened and we do not want to do that so we click on the filter option we'll be talking about maybe process name so what is the process name mal1.exe is over here 
and we'll add apply and click on OK. We are not going to do anything right now. I'm just setting everything up. We'll be performing the rest of the analysis gradually. So you can see a lot of things have happened. It has some reg open key operation success. What is it trying to do? Is the process. It is giving you a lot of information. Address size. We can get a lot of information from here. So it has created some, it has created a file. It has created an app help.dll. We can check that out. What kind of file is it? We can check something. We'll be adding filters to other processes. I mean, operations basically as well. But right now we are just going through what is happening, what is there. So you can see a lot of things have happened in this process. A lot of operations have happened, in fact. So we'll be adding more filters to it and we will jump up to us a good conclusion of what it has actually it was actually trying to do the next thing the very basic thing that we could have done uh, was running that or uh, adding the hash of that particular mal malicious file into virus total and it would give us a lot of information from there as well but since we are performing the analysis dynamic analysis on our own so here we are just understanding this is how it looks like this is how you're performing the analysis, dynamic analysis. These are the first step towards going ahead. So this is just the basics and we'll be moving ahead from here and learn what else you can do using process map monitor, what kind of operations that we should be checking, how you can check those fake net logs in Wireshare. And we will also try to create a graphical representation of the same that we are looking at right now, that is a process monitor in our upcoming videos. So that's it for today. So stay tuned, please like, share and subscribe to my channel, CryptoWare, and we'll see you in the next session, in the next video, sorry, bye.